that's something looking back on it to this day, it, it's hard for me to defend the decision to keep the pay-per-view going. At the time I defended it, uh, I think I defended it throughout a lot of years because I was saying, hey, you got to look at it from WWE's point of view. They've never had a situation like this. Nobody's ever died in the middle of live pay-per-view and they have to think of their responsibilities to the cable companies, to their advertisers and all of this crap that's going on, you know, in the business line of thinking of WWE without just saying, okay, one of our wrestlers just died in the ring, call off the show. Nobody needs to go through uh, an event. Now one of our friends has just died. I understand that the WWE had to make a decision that has never been made before, but looking back, I think it was the wrong one because the rest of that pay-per-view was terrible. I'm still surprised that it's on the WWE network. I don't even know how I feel about that. I don't see any point in showing that one. Yes, they want to say every pay-per-view is available on the WWE Network. Well, I think it would be okay if you excluded just one. And the worst part about Over the Edge is that they went through with a title change. At least if they were going to keep the show going and they weren't going to cancel it, at least change the finish of the main event to where maybe the McMahons weren't involved. The fact that Vince ran out there after you know one of his wrestlers just died about two hours earlier, to me it was a little bit disturbing. He should have kept his ass backstage doing as much damage control control as possible, not worrying about some stupid fucking wrestling angle. Austin could have dropped the belt to The Undertaker at any time. He could have done it on Raw two weeks later. He could have done it the King of the Ring the month after. Why they insisted on doing it this way, I have no idea, because they forced themselves to have to go back and relive over the edge, because that now counts in the record books as a title victory for The Undertaker over Steve Austin. I think they should have gone with a disqualification or they should have had Austin beat The Undertaker and if they wanted to give Taker the belt, they could have just done that at a later time and they could have forgotten all about Over the Edge because you can cut out all the Owen Hart footage that you want out of that pay-per-view. We all know that's the pay-per-view that it happened. And for somebody like me who watched it and experienced it live, right on live TV as a young man in his mid-20s, you know, it scarred me for life and it was awful and I felt terrible and it was just tragic.